This here is the 62 Chrysler 300 Sport that we recently found. These are very rare cars anyways, but this one is particularly rare because it is a factory three-speed manual on the floor car. car came out of West Virginia. Ooh. Extremely unique interior. And like I said, this is a three-speed manual on the floor. Factory, that was fact, uh, factory standard on the 62300 Sport. Um, I believe it was the first post-war passenger car uh, to have the manual shifter on the floor rather than on a, the steering column. Uh, Chrysler did that, I believe it was six, or 61 to 64. And then you had the optional Ponte Mousson um, four-speed manual on the 60 Chrysler 300F. Um, but other than that, this would have been the only really manual shift on the floor car you could have bought from the factory. This unique Astrodome design doesn't allow for a three-speed on the column shifter. There's the factory blank out for the torque flight. You also have your turn signal on the dashboard. Remote mirror. Very nifty folding bench seat. This car would have been beautiful, brand new, black with a bright red interior. Oh, I'm not sure what these are. We found them in the glove box. Maybe warranty, little identification card from whoever the former owner was. Going back to the back, 47 Plymouth convertible as well. The rear of these cars are so unique. The 62 is my favorite iteration of this generation of Chrysler. A lot of people prefer the thinned 60s and 61s, but something about these really cool taillights just really works well with the space age theme. Look at that giant back glass. Very basic under the hood. No power brakes. You have a 383 with a four barrel. Now this car originally should have had a 383 with a two barrel. Um, you couldn't get the 383 in this, the 300 Sport, with a four barrel. You had to move up to a 413, which was like the mid-level engine option to get the four barrel. And then if you wanted um, dual quads, you'd move up to the 300H actual letter, letter car. Um, so some that ad was added at some point, but it is a correct DPCD four barrel intake for the 383. And someone, their college several uh, high school and college parking passes, so I'm sure some kid hopped it up at some time. It would have been a really fun car to drive in the 60s. And then there's that extremely unique face. Automotive journalists in the 60s were very critical of the way this car looked with the canted headlights, but there's something really special about it. Those awesome parking lights and turn signal indicators are just so well integrated. Such a cohesive, incredible design. Well, that's it for this 62300. We have a rust-free new port we're gonna use. And before we sell this car, we are gonna probably 
go ahead and restore it um, just because we already had a 62 Newport as well as another engine and transmission probably for this car. We're definitely going to keep it as the three speed that it is. Um, we were, there really aren't any records due to the way Chrysler did bookkeeping in those days um, in terms of the variation of production broken down by drivetrain. But going by what we know of like one to two percent of Chrysler's being equipped with a manual transmission in 61 to, to 64, um, given the production number of this car, that would put, put it in the range of 150 at the most having a three-speed manual on the floor. So it is a very rare car um, and we do intend to keep it stock. But yeah, there she is.